Hey guys, I'm Soumya and I am back with another video. So today's video is an August wrap up video. If you are a book lover and a reader, then you should definitely hit subscribe to my channel Soumya's Book Station as I make loads of bookish content on this channel. And if you like this video, do not forget to give this a thumbs up and share it. And also do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a video. So September is here and it's just four months before 2019 comes to an end and before 2020 begins. Sometimes it feels like that it's going way too fast but other times it feels like it's not going fast enough. All depending on what my mood is like whether positive or negative. So in August I read six books and in total in 2019 so far I have read 50 books. Let me know in the comments how many books did you read in the month of August. Now let's get started with my wrap up video for August. The first book is Clouds by Chandrahas Chaudhary. Now this is a book that I had been meaning to read since 2018 but I only got my hands on this book in 2019 and I picked it up fairly quickly considering my overflowing pile of TBR. I got it just a few months back. So Clouds is a story about two characters whose paths do not really cross but their stories are taking place in the city of Bombay so that is one common thing about them. So on one hand we read about Farhad Bile Moria who is a Parsi psychotherapist and he has wrapped up his psychotherapy practice in Mumbai because he's about to move to San Francisco and he's about to turn 42 as well so he's pretty much done with Mumbai he's already dreaming about his new life but something unexpected happens because he comes into contact with this woman named Zahra before leaving Mumbai and it starts seeming like that maybe he has another chance at love. On the other hand, we have the character of Rabi who is a tribal youth from Odisha who is living in Bombay taking care of two elderly Odia Brahmins, Ija and Ui. So how he came to live in Bombay and what is his story is something that we read about in this book. He comes from a tribe that worship the cloud maker that live on a particular mountain in Odisha. I had a great time reading this book, honestly. Both the characters Farhad and Rabi have their stories moving at their own pace very very leisurely so because of that this is not a quick read but this is an enjoyable read all the same there are many profound moments in this book where discussions are taking place between characters and those particular moments they have been expressed with such amazing clarity of thought that they really really impressed me there has been quite a vivid description of different scenes in this book from time to time you are able to pictureize exactly what is happening when you read that particular part in the story. The next book is The Happy Fruit Adventures by Hari Ram Narayanan. So in this story, two 19-year-old boys named Abider and Deviator embark on a journey in a jungle called the Jungle of Life to reach a particular tree on which grows a fruit called the fruit of true happiness. Now this tree grows on a mountain called Mount Gol. Now before starting their journey, they meet a man called Master Experience who tells them to follow the straight path to reach the Mount Gol in order to attain that particular fruit. So in the story, we read about the challenges that these two boys face. They meet good characters as well as bad characters. On the whole, this is a really sweet and a cute kind of a story. In this book, we revisit all the life lessons that we have been taught all our life since our childhood. This book also made me nostalgic because I kind of was reminded of the Enid Blyton books that I used to read when I was a child. Anyway, the writing of this book is very effortless and this is the kind of book that when you pick it up, it's going to leave a smile on your face because of how lovely the story is. I have also done a detailed review of this book on my channel if you want to check it out i leave the link for that in the description box the next book is malhar by vivek kumar malhar sangram sindhu gatha series ki dusri kitab hai iski pehli kitab thi arthala malhar mein kahani wahi se aage badhti hai jahan pe arthala mein kahani khatm hui thi malhar mein kai sare naye characters aur jagahon ko introduce kiya gaya hai aur ye ek fantasy book hai अर्थला के जो कई सारे प्रमुख पात्र थे उनसे थोड़ा फोकस शिफ्ट करके मल्हार में नए कैरेक्टर्स पर लाया गया है अर्थला की तरह मल्हार में भी सस्पेंस और थ्रिल फैक्टर बहुत हाई है चाहे प्लॉट हो या कैरेक्टर डेवलपमेंट या राइटिंग स्टाइल मल्हार ने मुझे किसी भी तरह से निराश नहीं किया खास तौर पर कैरेक्टर डेवलपमेंट की बात की जाए तो मुझे सभी कैरेक्टर्स किसी ना किसी रीज़न की वजह से अच्छे भी लगे और उनका इम्प्रेशन भी बहुत ज़्यादा मुझ पर पड़ा एज अ रीडर क्योंकि उन्हें इतने अच्छे से डेवलप किया गया है कि उन्हें भूलना मुश्किल है 
मल्हार में कहानी की गति बहुत ज़्यादा फास्ट है उसकी वजह से शुरू से लेकर अंत तक कहानी हमें बांधे रखती है इस किताब में केवल दो पन्ने हैं लेकिन मैंने पर्सनली ये बुक दो सेटिंग्स में ख़त्म कर दी थी क्योंकि मुझे इतनी ज़्यादा कहानी इंटरेस्टिंग लगी कि मुझे लगा कि मैं जल्दी से जल्दी जानूँ कि अंत में क्या होगा और जो इस किताब का एंड है वो बहुत ज़्यादा सरप्राइजिंग और आश्चर्यजनक था ये किताब एक क्लिफ हैंगर पर एंड होती है जिसकी वजह से हमें आगे की किताबों का इंतज़ार रहता है ओवरऑल अगर मैं कहूँ तो मेरे अकॉर्डिंग मल्हार की यूएसपी इसके युद्ध के दृश्य हैं क्योंकि उन्हें ऑथर ने बहुत ही ज़्यादा इम्प्रेसिव तरीके से डिपिक्ट और डिस्क्राइब किया है मैंने इस किताब का एक रिव्यू वीडियो बनाया है और अगर आप थॉट्स जानना चाहते हैं मेरे और ज़्यादा डिटेल में तो आप वो रिव्यू वीडियो चेकआउट कर सकते हैं उसका लिंक मैंने डिस्क्रिप्शन में दे दिया है द नेक्स्ट बुक इज पायर बाय पेरुमल मुरुगन ट्रांसलेटेड बाय अनिरुद्धन वासुदेवन सो पायर इज अ स्टोरी ऑफ अ यंग कपल द गाई इज कॉल्ड कुमारिसन एंड द गर्ल इज नेम्ड सरोजा कुमारिसन एंड सरोजा गेट मैरिड बिकॉज दे आर इन लव बट दे बिलोंग टू डिफरेंट कास्ट एंड सिंस इन कुमारिसन विलेज दिस इज अ वेरी बिग डील वेन दे आर आईव इन हिज विलेज दे कीप दिस अ सीक्रेट बट द विलेजर्स सस्पेक्ट दैट सरोजा डजेंट बिलोंग टू देयर कास्ट बिकॉज ऑफ हर अपियरेंस एंड हर कंडक्ट सो वॉट कैन आई से दिस इज अ ब्रिलियंट बुक दैट कंप्लीटली शुक मी I was not able to put this book down the story on the whole has a very gloomy and a very scary vibe both kumarisan and saroja are extremely human to read about kumarisan is an optimist no matter what he always hopes for the best often getting disappointed saroja on the other hand is somebody who is more practical and she is almost always full of misgivings because of the environment so how the story pans out is something that you are not able to forget even after you put this book down the next book is the secret of the palamu fort by razi ahmed so this is a murder mystery thriller and the story in this book is taking place in jharkhand so a professor is killed at his own house in his study and the witnesses claim that a ghost materialized out of the thin air and committed the murder the police is very confused and decides to take help from a famous and a renowned detective named Robin Horo now as robin horo conducts his investigations it turns out that the clues to this murder lie in the history that goes as far back as 350 years during the reign of raja medini ray of chero dynasty so with the introduction of this historical angle along with the paranormal angle of the ghost this story becomes very confusing the premise of this entire story is extremely interesting from a reader's point of view so the book definitely has the factor of being a page turner because obviously one wants to know that how could a ghost commit a murder and why was the professor murdered in the first place so well i will say that there were points in the story where i was able to predict what was going to happen ahead of time but the main suspense that comes towards the end of the story was still surprising for me as a reader I have reviewed this book on my channel in a separate review video. If you want to know my thoughts on this book in detail, you can check that video out. The link for that will be in the description box. The next book is Because It's Love by Kishore Nanda. Now this book has the stories of four different characters and all these four different stories represent different kinds of love. There is the character of an old man named Abhiram who is abandoned by his own family because he gets infected by HIV positive. Then there is Karan who is a 30 something very successful man in his corporate life who one day finds out that his days are numbered because he's diagnosed with cancer. Then there there is arav a man who wants to earn as much money as he can by hook or by crook and for that he wants to write a novel which is a love story of a cancer patient and to market this novel he devises a very manipulative and a very distasteful plan and then there is the character of rajesh who believes that there is no need for commitment life is just for fun but his life completely changes when a dog becomes a part of it The overall message and the intention behind the stories in this book was remarkable. I will definitely give this book that. But in my personal opinion, the two stories that I liked more than the others were that of Arav and Rajesh. I felt that there was a certain newness about them. On the whole, I'll just say that the writing of this book could definitely have been better. It definitely needed to be more polished. There were good things in this book that I appreciate, but there were things that I was not happy about. Either. Either. If you want to know my thoughts on this book in detail you can check out my review video the link for which will be in the description box
so that was my august wrap up video i talked about the six books that i read in august and i gave you my mini reviews of these books i hope you like this video if you want to get your hands on any of these books then please do get them from my affiliate links because that will support me and i'll appreciate it so that was it for today's video if you want to connect with me on my social media the links are in the description box i'll see you in my next video till then bye bye and take care